Etihad 833 from Hong Kong to Abu Dhabi pushes back from gate 66 at about 6.20pm local time. The A330-200 taxis to runway 07 right via Bravo, Whiskey, Juliet, crossing the runway at Juliet 6, then via Kilo to the holding point Kilo 1. At 6.46, the aircraft is cleared for takeoff to follow the PCAN 1 Alpha departure procedure to the south before turning west towards Abu Dhabi. As the aircraft climbs, the crew contacts Hong Kong departures on 123.8. DT8H3 Several minutes later, the departure controller hands off the aircraft to Hong Kong Approach. ET head 833, maintain 5,000 feet, contact approach 119, they say more one. Maintain 5,000, 119, they say more one, ET head 833. Radar is ET head 833, we are approaching 5,000 feet. ET head 833, Roger, climb to altitude 7,000 feet, can speed control. Cancer speed control and climb 7,000 feet at the hard uh, A33. As the crew climbs, they become aware that their flight controls are not responding as expected. They contact the controller and ask to level off, but wish to continue flying the standard instrument departure, or SID. At the hard A33, uh, we have uh, some flight control issue. Request to maintain uh, 7,000 and presently uh, request to maintain SID. Edge at 833, that's understood. Maintain altitude within 7,000 feet. Speed at your discretion. Edge at 833. Five minutes later, the crew reaches out to air traffic control, letting them know that they may have to go into a holding pattern to troubleshoot the issue. Radar, does Etihad 833? Sorry, say again? Does Etihad 833? Go ahead. Sir, we might need to require a hold uh, over a beacon if possible. Uh, understood. Uh, I'll switch over shortly to the next fact tank and about the next fact tank. What's your intention with this? Roger, as you had there, uh, ATT. Head to 833, contact radar 126 decimal 3. 126 decimal 3, as you had ATT. The crew is directed to hold to the southeast of the waypoint PCAN. They fly a holding pattern here at 9,000 feet from 706 for about one hour. At about 8pm, the crew requests to return to Hong Kong with local standby available. With local standby, the aircraft would be given priority to land with fire and rescue vehicles present for arrival. Air traffic control transfers their hold to Kanto. From 8.12, they fly a hold for 90 minutes. First at 9,000 feet, then at 5,000, climbing and descending several times. Finally, they are moved to Betty. They hold here for a further 20 minutes at flight level 110 before beginning their approach at 11.10. In total, the aircraft held for just over four hours. A week after the incident, the airline clarified that the issue pertained to a flight control system and resulted in the loss of the aircraft's autopilot capability. As the aircraft lacked fuel jettison capability, the crew decided to burn fuel in a hold to bring the aircraft to a safe landing weight. At around 10 past 11, the crew contacts approach control to discuss their arrival. Approach is at HUD 833. We request to uh, maintain 511, uh, request full procedure to land uh, to HUD 83, Betty 2 Alpha. We did have H33 uh, understood, have to maintain 511 and uh, take at the last pump. We do not have to maintain, we are maintaining 511, requesting to descend. And uh, we would like to do the full procedure for uh, Betty 2 Alpha. Betty H33 and the screw descent 8000 P2 and H1018 expect runway 07 right. Uh, runway 07 right, 8000 feet, and confirm QNH if you had ACC. Betty at H33, QNH1018. QNH1018, thank you, you had ACC. Now, AT at H33, confirm uh, you are able to track for lines for the approach or you have to stay for the full star over Guava uh, for the uh, Betty arrival. 
request for procedure, please, that you had A33, because we need to burn extra two tons. That you had A33, did you copy? We require 20 minutes to land. Yeah, A33, understood. Uh, this is the name of the star. Okay, we'll continue on the star at A33. As the crew approached their last cleared altitude of 8,000 feet, they prompt the controller for further descent clearance. At the house A33 approaching 8,000. At the house A33 maintain will be departing traffic climbing below you. Roger, at house A33. The crew now let approach know that they've burned enough fuel to immediately proceed to the initial approach fix of limes. At the house A33 we can accept limes. We at A33 thanks uh, turn this direct to the limes. Back into the lines now at the house A33. At the house A33 request descent. At the A33 descent to 4,500 feet. Descent to 4,500 feet at the house A33. At the A33 descent to 3,000 feet. Into 3,000 feet at the house A33. At the house A33, just to confirm all crew's altitude. At the A33 descent to 3,000 feet unrestricted. 3,000 feet, no restricted, and confirm terrain and radar monitored. Taking your last. Just confirm we are under radar control that we are clear of terrain and airplanes. Idiot H33 Aircraft. Roger, thank you. Idiot H33. Approach now hands the aircraft off to the director. Directors are usually employed at large, high traffic airports, particularly those with parallel runways. After the aircraft are appropriately spaced and their speed arranged by approach controllers, the director is responsible for sequencing planes on their final ILS approaches before handing them off to the tower for landing clearance. ATA 33 contact director 119 at decimal 5. 119 at decimal 5, they had ATT. Bye bye, thank you for your help. No worries. Uh, A33, uh, are you able to take up any uh, track shortening like uh, 20 miles to touchdown or do you still have to stay on the arrival? Yeah, they had A33, thank you. Turn right on heading 320, it's back about 20 miles to touchdown. ATF A33, turn right heading 340, descend to 2000 feet. ATF A33, turn right heading 040, clear eye at the approach runway 207 right. ATF A33, stop on localizer. ATF A33, continue approach and contact tower south for money decimal 4. 018 decimal 4, contact tower south, ATF A33, thank you for your help. Bye bye. Welcome, bye bye. The crew, now established on the instrument approach for runway 07 right, contact the tower controller responsible for the southern runway. Tower South, good evening, this is Etihad 833 on 7 mile final. Etihad 833, Tower South, wind 07, 0 degrees, 7 knots, runway 07 right, clear to land. Clear to land, Etihad 833, runway 07 right. Etihad 833, VK Judith 7, right turn Judith, hold shot, whiskey. Confirm again, Etihad 833. Hitter 833, the cage Judith 7, right hand Judith, hold shot with Judith. Judith 7, also the whiskey, it's hard, it's uh, 3 Hitter 833, do you need any assistance? Uh, no more pressure, it's hard, it's 3. The aircraft taxis to stand whiskey 124 and the passengers disembark before technical crews board the plane to fix the issue. Two days later, after the problem is fixed in the early hours of the morning, the aircraft is ferried back to Abu Dhabi as Etihad 833 Alpha to continue service.